Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you, and thank you for watching. This is part three of the series that I had started and titled as The Authenticity of the Quran as Attested by Christian Scholars. And the reason I chose this topic is that uh, testimonies provided by renowned Christian scholars who specialize in Islamic studies and Oriental studies, some of whom are concerned with casting doubt about Islam and deviating people ab uh, away from Islam and tarnishing the image of Islam. Those scholars, when it comes to the point of the authenticity of the Quran, they have no choice but to state the facts that the Quranic text is authentic preserved, unchanged, untampered with, and that it has been delivered to us today in the same manner that it was taught and uttered by the Prophet Muhammad without a single change. These testimonies by such renowned scholars who have dedicated their lives to studying Islam, Islamic history and the history of the Quran, have an enormous weight. It is very unbiased and quite neutral and fair that I bring you testimonies by Christian scholars and not by Muslim scholars. If I had brought you testimonies by Muslim scholars, Muslim scholars then you may accuse me or doubt the truthfulness of my statements and you may accuse me of being biased but when I bring you testimonies of scholars who are biased against Islam attesting the authenticity of the Islamic Quranic text, then this testimony has an enormous weight and it can be used to refute all these false allegations, the baseless allegations made by multiple YouTubers who have no academic background in Islamic studies whatsoever, such as David Wood, uh, Ishmael, who owns a channel by the uh, title of Do Not Convert to Islam, Jay Smith, Smith, Nabil Qureshi, and other people who are haters of Islam and haters of the Prophet Muhammad and haters of the Quran. In part two of this series, I quoted Sir William Meir, who, is the, who was the head of the University of Edinburgh and a scholar in Islamic studies and Oriental studies. Today, I will continue to quote other Christian scholars from renowned universities uh, across the Christian world. For instance, the French pastor and author by name of Georges Louis Leblanc, he states, the Quran is today the only holy book that does not show notable variants. Now, all the quotations I'm making are, you will find them in the PowerPoint presentation, which I have added to the description of this video and the other videos of this series. If you just click the link, it will take you to the PowerPoint point presentation uploaded on SlideShare. We go to the next Christian scholar by the name of Bosworth Smith, who was a Catholic historian and biographer. He actually wrote a book attacking Islam and attacking the Prophet Muhammad titled Muhammad and Muhammadanism. But when it comes to the point of the authenticity of the Islamic Quranic text, he says, we have a book absolutely unique in its origin, in its preservation, and in the chaos of its contents. Of course, he is biased against Islam, so he claims that the contents of the Quran are chaotic, unorganized. That is his opinion, but the point I'd like to discuss today is the authenticity of the Quranic text. We are not here to discuss the <coughs> harmony and the unity of the Quranic text at this point, which is a totally different topic that would require numerous videos and numerous lectures. But this man and this scholar, when he comments on the authenticity and preservation of the Quranic text, he says that the Quran is absolutely unique in its origin, in its preservation, and then he puts in his own <coughs> slander of the Quran, he says, and the chaos of its contents, but he says, but on the authenticity of which no one 
has ever been able to cast a serious doubt. Now, this is a huge statement, statement by a Christian historian, biographer, and a scholar of Islamic studies who has published books, books about Islam, Prophet Muhammad and the Quran. This statement alone, where he says, but on the authenticity of which no one has ever been able to cast a serious doubt, would refute all these YouTubers, these naive, uneducated, ignorant YouTubers who are just making baseless, unsubstantiated claims, trying to cast doubt on the authenticity of the Quranic text without providing any solid proof. And they can't because there isn't. If there was any solid proof against the authenticity of the Quranic text, I would be the first one to doubt it, to doubt the Quranic text. But I have studied this matter in depth for many years. And I have not come across a single serious, substantiated claim or fact that can shed any doubt or raise any questions about the authenticity of the Quranic text. We go on. Stanley Lane Poole, who was a British Orientalist and a professor of Arabic studies at the Dublin University, he says, it is an immense merit in the Quran that there is no doubt as to its genuineness. So he says there's no doubt that the Quran is genuine, genuine or genuine. He says that every word we can now read with full confidence. These are not my words, but the words of Stanley Lane Poole, who is a British scholar and professor of Arabic studies at Dublin University. He says that, that every word, that very word, we can now read with full confidence that it has remained unchanged through nearly 1300 years. Again, the quotations and the references are in the PowerPoint presentation in the description of this video. Another quotation and testimony, I will quote another testimony by another Christian scholar, Philip Hitti, who was a Maronite Christian from Lebanon and a leading scholar of Arabic studies in the United States. He says, he says, modern critics agree that the copies current today of the Quran are almost exact replicas Exact, almost exact replicas of the original mother text as compiled by Zaid, who was the scribe and secretary of the Prophet Muhammad and the head of the committee uh, in charge of uh, writing down and documenting the Quran. He says, uh, almost exact replicas of the original mother text as compiled by Zaid, and that on the whole, the text of the Quran today is as Muhammad produced it. Of course, he claims that Muhammad produced it, but we as Muslims know for a fact and with evidence, this is all based on evidence. We don't believe in anything that is not based on evidence. And even the Quran itself tells us that <clears throat> it is forbidden for a Muslim to follow any way or embrace any belief or fact or statement that is not substantiated by clear evidence. He says here, it is the same as the Quran that was produced by Muhammad. And then he says, as some Semitic scholar remarked, there are probably more variations in the reading of one chapter of Genesis in Hebrew than there are in the entire Quran. I would like to correct this scholar and say that in the Quran, there's not a single variation today from the original text that was recited by the Prophet Muhammad and revealed by God. And anyone who claims otherwise, please bring forth your evidence and please prove us wrong. I will quote another Christian scholar, John Burton, professor of Arabic studies at the University of Edinburgh, he says, the text which has come down to us in the form in which it was organized and approved by the Prophet Muhammad, talking about the Quran, 
What we have today in our hands is the Mus'haf of Muhammad. It is the Quran of Muhammad. The word Mus'haf is basically another term for the Quran. The book that contains the Quran. The book. The Quranic book. Here he attests that the text we are reading today is the same text that was recited by the Prophet Muhammad. I will conclude this video with another quotation by, from another Christian scholar who is a French Islamologist. Her name was Denise Mason. She passed away in 1994. She says, Eventually, in spite of these points of debate, we can say that the text presently in your possession, in our possession, that the text presently in our possession contains the criteria of a substantial of a substantial fidelity. And these statements are all mentioned in their books, which I have referenced in the PowerPoint presentation in the description of this video. Thank you for watching and please follow the next videos which will contain further further testimonies from Christian scholars to the same on the same topic. Thank you very much.